Hi, I'm Dave McKenna. I'm the artistic lead on a people dancing supportive project for boys dance in Coventry, Warwickshire, Solihull. Hall. And this summer we've been working on a week-long project in Henley and Arden School. Um, we've been working in eight schools um, over those last three years to give young men the opportunity to perform uh, on a main stage at Warwick Arts Centre. advanced dancers to try and think a little bit more differently about how dance can be included and after conversation with the teacher uh, Fiona she she wanted to look at site specific the boys specifically wanted to do a dance piece to camera so it just seemed to make sense to try and join the two ideas and then through um, a bit of uh, searching both with the group and with the teachers we eventually found the guild hall in Henley. <laughs> Rolling, focus, three, two, one, action. So you come through, do you go up which side? Day one was specifically supposed to be a creative day, so um, we looked at, I, I would give the lads some dance material that I'd come up with based on some of the themes that we were going to possibly look at, and then work with that material together and um, practice the material in groups um, and then devise their own material. They used the material that I gave them as inspiration but then when they took that material into the space, the Guild Hall, I kind of gave them clear instructions to try and let them, let the space change their movement, let them reinterpret that movement for themselves, for themselves in relation to the space that they were in. And so they were then empowered in creating that material for themselves. Wait, wait. Go. When Chris arrived, the um, cameraman, on the Friday, we could then be much more specific with exactly where we thought he might be able to, um, to shoot from. But then he would then be able to also just be able to make his own decisions on where he thinks those shots could come from as well. So it's a bit of a kind of collaborative process between us, the lads, the teacher and the cameraman on the Friday. That nice flaky kind of plaster effect looks quite good as well. <laughs> Alex, when you go up for the lift, you know before you were used to go out and held that and then went to there, 
still need to do that motion because that helps them get you flat and bring you around. Okay, so um, what's been good about this week? Learning new lifts, um, different ways of how you can structure your body. Getting fitter. And is this different to other boys' dance work you've done? Yeah, because yeah. we're filming it yeah. instead yeah. of going to the workout centre, mm. going on stage. Had but to do it is the same, it's the same style of dance though, but it's just different settings. Okay, and um, why is it so different doing dance for camera rather than doing dance just for it's performance? It's a big stage, you've got to work with the floor because this is quite uneven. And you have to so do it more than once. Yeah. Okay. And if you mess up, you've got a chance to fix it. And what's it like working with Dave? Really interesting. Um, he taught us many things. And he does ways really long. He pushes you to the limits. So is it good working in a venue like this rather than on a professional stage? Kind of different kind of... Yeah, it's, it's yeah. different, but I think anybody would rather dance on the stage. Really. Okay. There's a lot more space on the stage. Yeah. 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 But it's good to adapt your dance to the space. Plus, yeah. you're not, yeah. plus you're not doing it for an audience. Yeah, you don't get it. Yeah, you don't get it. Thank, thank you for this opportunity, Billy, to do that. Yeah. It was sweet.